Hi everyone, in this video I'll present to you the use of the scanner class in Eclipse. In our using scanner class that is, that is located inside the learning Java project that we created in our previous video, I'll start off by adding a comment describing the program. To have a multi-line comment, use the forward slash followed by the asterisk and then hit enter and Eclipse will do the remaining work by enclosing the asterisk, enclosing the comment with an asterisk and the forward slash again. I'll now insert my multi-line comment, which says that the program will ask the user to enter their name and then print out a message back to the user using their name. Now, we'll start with importing the scanner class using the statement import java.util.scanner with a capital S. Now that the scanner class is imported, I can now use it in, our, in the main method. To start using the scanner, we need to define a, a reference to a scanner object. So to do that, we start off with using the scanner class and defining our variable. The variable is named input. And this is going to be a reference to our scanner object that we are creating using the keyword new and the name of the class that we want our object to be created from. System.in indicates that the input is a standard stream that is coming from the user's keyboard. Next, we define a variable to store the user's name. So we can use the data type string, indicating that it's going to be a string input. And the name is the name of our variable that will hold the name or the string input entered by the user. Next, we want to print a message to the user asking them to enter their name. So to do that, we will use the um, system.out.printline line method and we'll give a message to the user asking them to enter their name. Enter your name. And then we will save user's input in the name variable using the reference that we created to our scanner object and we will use a method called next line to grab uh, a string input from the user. Next we want to print out a message to the user um, saying welcome to them and then addressing them with their name. So using print line again and just to welcome and concatenate the name to the message that we've given here. Last, it is always good to close our scanner. And now we can try running our program to see if it works as we expect it to. As you can see, the program is running and it's asking the user for input. So we can give a um, denying test and we get the message back saying welcome test. 